Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. If Fuzzy Wuzzy had some hair, who the hell cares? Where's that from? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Simply Made Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Thoreau. Tom Jones. And we're back after a very full and, and thankful week uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, st I'm still yeah. suffering from it. Man, I'm telling you, it's going to take a long time to get some of these calories out. Yeah, by the time we're making a little bit of edge, it's Christmas time. Oh, so then we have to do it all over again. Pumpkin pie. Just pretty much everything you do for Thanksgiving. People well, buy extra, so a couple what extra. Do you, what does your family do? If you have turkey on Thanksgiving Day, on Christmas Day, do you guys do maybe ham? Well, my extended family, we do stuff like that. My immediate family, we don't do anything because uh, my, my immediate family doesn't celebrate that. But um, my extended family, yeah. Ham. Yeah, we rotate them. Honey, honey ham, probably turkey, another turkey. Uh, all pretty much a repeat yeah. of Thanksgiving, except I think we use um, hands. Corn skin pens? Irish hands. Oh, Irish hands. Yeah. I mean, that could be tasty. Yeah. So anyways, not time. to start to get you guys hungry or anything, but we are here after all. This is our Monday review show, and we're going to be reviewing Lazzaroni Amaretto. Lazzaroni Amaretto. He sounds a little more authentic than I do. So basically, we're going to try this out. It's a review. It's a straight from Italy. It's a product of Italy. It's an Amaretto. It's authentic. It's made and bottled in Sodorona, Italia. So it's, let's see here, 24% alcohol by volume, so that means 48 proof. Yeah. So, That's good. Yeah. Oh man. That's got it going on. Got it going on. It's got it going on. And this actually will be a, one of the, I think the, one of the main reasons I chose to review this today is probably because it's an amaretto, almonds, and it's the festive season, and you could probably use this a lot of ingredients and recipes, whether it be in cocktails or even recipes in like pies or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could use like for to accompany a pumpkin pie, you could put a little bit of amaretto in it. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Yeah. Just something to try it out. So it is sort of like a seasonal liqueur too, but it's, it's, it's year round. Good for us. Yes. Grazie. But nada. So I gotta clean the, the, the grits off here. Turning a little sugary content. You know I wasn't speaking Spanish right there, right? Well, you knew that, right? Yeah, I said the nada in Italian. They're about roughly about the same in Spanish. They're like pretty much from the same yeah, corner of the they're both Latin world. Oh, that smells good. It smells really good. Um, and you notice that we didn't put any water in this because this is just a liqueur. So it's not high proof. We don't have to really break anything down. Right. I get... We wouldn't want to change the flavor, actually. And look at that nice uh, tone. That copper tone. Copper tone. Don't go there. It's too early. It's winter time. <laughs> I know. It looks, it looks like a caramel syrup kind of thing, coloring. Yes. So it's you can see through it. It's not fully opaque yet. So it's you can have some transparency to it. Wow, you've added a little bit of a palette to your vocabulary, haven't you? What was that last word? A palette? Opaque. Opaque. Yeah. Opacity of the liquid. The higher really? the opacity, the less visibility through the liquid. Wow, I didn't even know that word. <laughs> Do some graphic arts. <laughs> yes, uh, this is kind of like a, a drinkies, drinker's version of Sesame Street. Without and the kids, kids without the kids <laughs> and kids without the the first letter of the alphabet will be a for amaretto yes how that worked out oh yeah so segway, i'm segway. getting i'm getting the almonds i get it a hint of some kind of spice a little bit of alcohol spice to it you know what i'm just smelling like i'm it's maybe a little bit cherry yeah maybe a little bit of i'm that. not just getting i'm getting i'm not getting any alcohol at all actually Let's try it out. But that's just me. Wow, that's great. Great, no alcohol burn at all. Was this my uh, preferred? One or was it your preferred? Mine. Well, but they're almost the same though. But yeah, you, you had a tough decision. Yeah. That's good stuff. 
Yeah, it has a buttery note to it. Oh yeah, taste of butter, the butterscotch. It's buttery, cherry. A little bit of the maraschino cherries is part of what they have over there. Yeah. Um, and it sort of leaves like a, a buttery note to your lips too. I mean, you like sort of like lick your lips, you know, it's like leaves a little bit of a buttery note to it. And you get a little bit of afterburn just at the end. Yeah, ever so slightly just to remind you that there is alcohol in it. Yeah, in fact, they probably do that purpose. Yeah. Um, I wonder what the core spirit, that's the one thing I, I don't get what their core spirit might be. Oh, look at this. They even have a little uh, little uh, cocktail on here. Lazzarone Amaretto Sour. Two ounces of Amaretto, uh, four ounces of sour mix, mm -hmm. cracked ice, and a slice of orange. If you garnish. But, uh, yeah. Huh. That's pretty good. We'll probably try that out in future yeah. episodes. So yeah, well, I tend to see a lot of the brands like to you know introduce their own brand along with a, a cocktail. In a way, it introduces you to say, well, you look at it and it's like, I don't know if a straight, taking it straight, like the way we just did, or even putting it on the rocks to, so that the ice will melt and distill and dilute the, the liquor in it. But also to mix it up with something else and accompany it. So they work to pair it up and they try to say, okay, well, if you don't want to take our product, you know, straight from the bottle, how about t trying this little recipe on the side? That may be an introductory way of trying something. So we've obviously already had amaretto several times, Lazzaroni amaretto in, in recipes. So, and we know how it works. And it works really good with a lot of recipes. How much does a bottle like this go for? We Probably say? around, I think I got it for like around $18. That's not bad. I got it from Specs Online. Well, that's not- It was kind of tough because I usually shop either at, you know, BevMo or I shop at drinksup, drinkupnewyork.com. And those are two of my new, two sources. And then I'll probably go to BevMax, which is based out of Connecticut. And then Specs Online. And Specs Online was the only one that I could find it. They had a lot of well, Lazzaroni. Uh, but Lazzaroni has recently touched out to us, so we'll probably be, be able to reach out and say, hey, Lazzaroni, send us more of your brands, you know, so we can, you know, try them out. Well, see, that's a good value because you figure this is imported from Italy, so there has to be some kind of profits made or profits lost or whatever on there then you got it bottled here and purchased here and stuff i mean that's pretty good under 20 bucks i think it's bottled actually in italy it's just that it's, it's distributed by a certain company here and wow. they only have a certain distribution rights so yeah it's good or idea. they may be like that's a smaller a distribution company but they're not as big as like, like diageo or will and grant and sons or proximo spirits or sazerac you know those are like the four top ones yeah. See, it's just important right here. Yeah. So I guess they don't even bottle it here. That way you're getting it right from the source. Yep. So this is a great, it's really smooth, really um, has some richness to it, buttery notes to it. Um, really no alcohol burn, but you know, that all, depending on what your personal tolerance to any kind of level of alcohol, that's all up to you. But right now we don't really feel any alcohol burn. There's really no action. It's more no. of a buttery note going down. Yeah. And although you could drink it straight, I'm sure with that flavor, you can make a lot of good uh, mixed drinks, a lot of good coffee. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And like I said, this is the holiday season. We just had Thanksgiving, you know, so that's already passed. Coming up is Christmas. You bet you want to research on some good, you know, dessert flavors, desserts that may be accompanying an almond flavor. So like even like a pumpkin pie will, will oh, be yeah. a little good. Yeah. So with a little bit of this, you know, you cook it up into this, and it could be just right. So I think he's going to finish his glass, you know. <laughs> Maybe so. I think you're thirsty. Keep talking. So I can drink this. I'm not giving permission not to drink. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, is that you know you had that little hour drive and it's a little wet on the roads today, so. I'll be all sobered up by the time I get there. Yeah, by the time you get there. <laughs> Getting there is the other part. Whether you get there and say, oh, 26 goes this way, not that way. <laughs> so it's a great, it's a great cocktail. Look at me. So you got me all. Co co confused or so getting ready for the Wednesday cocktail show. So. Oh yeah, can't wait. So anyways, this is Lazzaroni Amaretto and we'll have information about the product down below in the description of this video on our channel and also as well as on our website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more, you know, recipes that we have. We have now a back catalog of around 96 videos. Jeez Louise! So we're hitting the century mark pretty soon. Wow. In the next week or two we'll be at the century mark before the, the holidays and you know and then you don't know, get and then by then we'll be you know suggesting that we get recipes from you 
Yeah. So, and I'll have a form on the website at simplymakecocktails.com. There'll be a form, a page on there where you can submit your recipe and they'll, you know, we'll get it. We'll categorize it. I wonder if we could fit all those episodes on a DVD or Blu-ray box set. I don't know. We'll stick to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> YouTube and Vimeo. Because we're on both. We're, we're sort of slow on, on the Vimeo platform, but we're getting there. We'll get there because... And also, I'll just let you know that we've now just joined Reddit. So you can get us at reddit.com slash user slash Simply Make Cocktails. So oh. we're, on, we're on Reddit. I read it. Yeah, so we're there. And our videos will be posted there. And you could comment. But we prefer that you comment on our channel and subscribe to our channel primarily at simplymadecocktails.tv. That's where you can get us directly. But we are all over the place on social media. So we hope to see you on Wednesday for a great Cocktail Wednesday episode that's coming up. Until then, drink responsibly, be safe, and we'll see you soon.